It's been five years since I last played in a Pokemon Draft League, which is a format of Pokemon where a bunch of content creators get together and act as coaches as we draft different Pokemon to build teams for a season of intense battles. Starting today and every Sunday for the next eight weeks, we're gonna have a different Draft League match where we go head to head with a different content creator. And today's game is gonna be insane because we're going up against the legendary singles battler himself and all around great guy, great jawline. Pokemon MD. Originally for these videos, I wanted to go super hard and I had a filming day schedule with a professional uh, videographer to go ahead and do coach interview with me and kind of make this docu-series out of the league every single week. But unfortunately, I did catch a stomach bug earlier this week, literally the day I had scheduled for filming and uh, we weren't able to make it happen. So instead, we're gonna follow the traditional draft league format where every week I'm gonna give you a team breakdown, a quick one, and then we're gonna hop right into the battle. And some of you guys might not even know my team and I'll go ahead and show the 10 that we did draft initially on the screen, but today we're gonna hone in on the six that we're using against Joey. And as a fun fact, one of the reasons why this battle is gonna be crazy is because Joey and I haven't battled in singles in probably five years since the last draft league. And it was a pretty intense game for the Mankeys because we were going up against the undefeated Bronx Bear Ticks and we managed to clutch it up. So even though I haven't done singles in so long and I haven't done draft league in even longer, there's still some pressure on me here, right? I wanna perform for you guys. I want you guys to be excited for the weekly New York Mankeys battle. Uh, and if these videos do well, uh, that would just honestly warm my heart because I'm excited to give Draft League another chance. So if you want to show your support, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, and most importantly, watch the entire video and enjoy the match. But as is tradition, before we hop into the battle, we're just going to do a quick team recap. You can see everything on your screen that you probably need to, but let's hone in on each Mon very quickly and go over kind of why I drafted them and how we're using them today. So first up is Sneasel. That was my round one pick. And honestly, I just wanted this Mon because Drew told me last season how much trouble it gave him and how busted it seemed in a lot of the matches that I think MV had it in the first season of the SPL. Super, super fast, has the move Dire Claw, which is pretty broken. Uh, it's, it, you know, it's a very unique move. It has a 50% chance to either sleep, poison, or paralyze. And I, it doesn't say it has increased crit ratio. I'm not sure if it actually does. Maybe it doesn't. So it is a chance to do that, which I think is pretty awesome. It also has a few different modes. Obviously, most of the modes that Sneasler has is punch things really hard, do a lot of damage, but it does get access to toxic spikes and a few other surprises. So uh, I'm not going to go over all of that in detail, but that was the main reason why I drafted because it has some versatility modes. It's a super strong, super fast Mon. It has Unburden, which this week we decided to run Air Balloon Unburden. So if Joey, I have, I'm immune to Ground Moose, which I'm very weak to, and Joey has a Swampert. So I wanted to be immune to those, but if he decides to pop my air balloon ever, I get my double speed and I can outspeed anything on his team, even if they're scarfed. I did decide to pack the fire punch for Scizor that Joey has. Scizor scared me so much when I was building this team. Um, we also did draft Grimmsnarl, as you guys saw, and I wanted to bring Grimmsnarl because Grimmsnarl felt really, really good into this team, but just choice banded Scizor just destroys it. Even with Reflect, it's just, it doesn't feel very good. So yes, we did pack the fire punch because I don't want just free dire claw switch-ins without a punish. And then I have U-turn just for initiative to keep the ball rolling. Next we have our Hisuian Zorork, which this Pokemon is honestly incredible. I'm so glad I picked it up. It was pretty late in the draft. It might've been round eight or round, it might've been round eight or seven, maybe nine. I think it might've been nine. I don't know. It was super late, but I love this Pokemon. I feel like building around Illusion is always a pain in the butt uh, and, and playing around Illusion even more so. Uh, I, for this week, I decided to go Focus Sash, and I went with U-Turn for initiative. Bitter Malice, fun fact, because I, I actually thought it did um, the Legends Arceus effect. Uh, it doesn't, it just lowers attack, which is still fine. It's still useful, and it's base 75 special, so it takes advantage of the special attack that Zorok has to offer. Then I ran Flamethrower for the same reason uh, that Scizor scares me, and then I had Grass Knot for a bomb like Swampert. And as far as why I drafted this, like I said, I mean, normal Ghost, so many immunities, very little weaknesses. Uh, it has some modes, it can nasty plot, you can scarf it easily, specs it easily. Um, Ghost Stab seems pretty good uh, in the league right now, so I'm really glad I grabbed it. The third Mankey in the field is a tried and true Lando T. This was my round three pickup, I believe. Got Intimidate, it's, it's a tried and true Mon for me, it's a comfort zone, right? I used a lot of Lando T back in the day, uh, and I've never really used it like this though, if I'm gonna be honest. We're going to special Lando T. Uh, with U-Turn, just for initiative once again. But we're going to Speedy Lando with Grass Knot, Smackdown, Scorching Sands, and U-Turn. Smackdown because I want to get things like Lottie out of the air so I can hit it with Stab, Scorching Sands. Uh, or anything that wants to be in the air, I want to say no thank you and put it on the ground. So it is weird. It's like a very mixed set. That's why we ended up going minus Special Defense. Uh, with a rash nature because I, I think that maybe that could work out for us. I don't think I have to go over why I drafted Lando T. It is such a good Mon and honestly, being able to pair it with the next Pokemon on our team is is just, it's just good old comfort zone. We have Kaspar, our Rotom Wash. I really don't need to explain much about why I drafted this. It's a comfort Mon for me, right? It has the one weakness of grass and then of course, freeze drive. But having Levitate, 
uh, having pain split is really, really good. It makes it such a good mod in Draft League because you could just split pain between you and your opponent. But we get Will-O-Wisp, we get Thunder Wave, we have Volt Switch Initiative. You'll see a common thread. Most of my Pokemon are Volt Turn. A lot of them that I drafted are Volt Turn. Um, but Rotom and Lando T just as a core is just so nice, buttery smooth. Two ground immunities, I love to see it. They cover each other's weaknesses pretty much perfectly, right? Like Lando's not resisting grass type moves, but he's not weak to it, so we like that. But I did need a Mon that resisted grass type moves, which is why I picked up Artrulodon. Everything was feeling very samey to me, very familiar, very homey. I mean, Sneasler, different, but it just punches things. It's not a complicated Mon to use. This Pokemon, I have no idea. So because Joey's team had no inherent ground stab other than Swampert, and I have two immunities, and no inherent fighting stab, I felt like the dude was a good brain this week. Assault Vest makes it very, very bulky on the special side uh, with some HP investment. I did end up speed creeping some Mons here. And by some Mons, I mean a max speed Swampert for some reason. I just didn't want to get caught with anything crazy like a max speed choice fan Swampert. I have no idea what Joey's going to bring. So I did give this speed investment. And honestly, at 85 speed, it's not awful. There's like a world where I do some crazy stuff this season with this Mon, including a Choice Scarf. After the move choices, you can see it. Body Press, Draco Meteor, Flash Cannon, and Dark Pulse. Pretty much the moves you use with this Mon uh, are standard. It does have the signature move, which is one of the reasons I drafted it, that where it buffs its special attack, Electro Shot. I just didn't want to use that against Joey because he has the Thunderous potential and he had the Swamper potential. It felt like I can get caught with my pants down around my ankles. Overall, I'm super excited to use this Mon in the future of the league as well, and kind of excited to see what it does today. And in our final slot, we have Serena. And I really wanted to bring Serena for the Rapid Spin, right? I mean, Joey has Hazard potential. He's got Spikes. He's got Stealth Rock potential. I wanted to make sure that I could get rid of them somehow. And Serena's got some pretty beefy attack. She was, the reason why I drafted this Pokemon was because I needed a rapid spinner, right? That was just why I drafted it. It was a pretty cheap rapid spinner. But the, is it 120? 120 attack. This Pokemon with rapid spin getting plus speed, there's a world where in future weeks, I just run this offensively. Like it's not a bad Pokemon whatsoever. It also has the potential to be a future Terra Captain. So depending on how it performs in the first couple weeks, Maybe it gets an upgrade, I don't know. But yes, move pool wise, triple axle, seed bomb, U-turn, rapid spin. Uh, triple axle covers a lot of Pokemon, specifically Lottie and Thunderous potential on Joey's team. Uh, and seed bomb is just good stab, hits the Swampert, Oko's it, no problem. So we wanna be able to scare that Swampert out and click U-turn a lot of times. I feel like it could have been really cool to swap my Terra Captain week one and make this Terra Fire because then it could stand toe to toe with Scizor, right? I can't get bullet punched. I might outspeed it, depending on how Joey trains his. But like I said, I haven't done draft in five years. Terra's completely new to me in draft and I've got a lot to learn. So I hope you stick around for the whole season. And for now, I hope you stick around and enjoy the battle. All right, here we are for the first week of the Shuckle Premier League. I am Shady Penguin, your coach of the New York Mankeys. Uh, we're going up against Joey Pokeam MD week one, which is not something I particularly wanted, but you know what, it's what we have. And we're gonna take notes immediately on his team Cinderace Swampert did come. Uh, this was kind of something I was expecting in my prep. Scizor as well, Lycanroc. We both did not bring our Terra Captains. All right. I, I, I really didn't think either of us were gonna bring them. I was like, I kind of got in my own head that maybe you would bring the Basculin because of just, you know, reasons. Uh, and I think without the Bas, confirming the Basculin isn't here, there's other things I would have done, but I know what I want to do, frame one. I want to lead Hubert. Um, and the way that I want to do this for the rest of my positioning should be that we want to put uh, Sylvain next, then Sneasler, then I believe Dudu, Flane, and Rotom. We want to appear as Rotom. Uh, I think that either the Lycanroc or the Swampert lead is here. Now, there's no Thunderous, which I was so afraid of. I was so afraid of a Thunderous lead and uh, it's not here. So I'm kind of pumped about that. Uh, it it kind of kind of puts me in a good position, uh, ideally. I, I kind of knew he had to bring the Hisui and Quillfish. Oh, wait, is that his, he's not a Terra Captain though, is he? Wait a minute. Wait, maybe he's, no, 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 because it's just his two. I think he just has the two. No, maybe he has three. Oh, I got to check. Did I gargle? I think I gargled hardcore. Hold on, hold the phone. Let's see something. This music's going way too hard. Um, uh, oh gosh. A Shuckle and Terra Captain. No, don't tell me. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Where are, where are the LA Wakers? Shuckle is not a Terra Captain. I'm not Shuckle, Quillfish. Okay, Necroft is the lead. Um, ooh, and this is just like pretty obvious rocks, I would say. 
I'm gonna go for straight up bitter malice. Um, I'm pretty sure it's what I want to do. Lower your attack. You're gonna set up your rocks. Uh, the other thing I could do is I could U-turn right out into. A U-turn will reveal immediately who I am, which I don't like. They both will reveal immediately who I am. Actually, I'm gonna U-turn. I'm gonna U-turn here. We're gonna see stealth rocks do go up. I'm going to immediately U-turn now. What moves does Lycan Rock learn? Uh, Lycan Rock, Smogon. He's gonna know obviously now that um, you know I'm not a Rotom. So I didn't click Volt Switch. I kind of wish I led regular Rotom there, not gonna lie. Uh, but we're gonna go right out into Serena here. Uh, let's see, do you get anything that would scare me a ton? Um, it looks like you get Fire Fang, which is kind of brutal. I guess I gotta run a little calc on that because that is kind of scary. If we go Lycan Rock, if you brought the Fire Fang, it does not Oko even remotely close. Okay, cool. So, let's just immediately go Rapid Spin here and get rid of Rocks Frame 1. We'll see Stone Edge. Stone Edge comes through. Does a lot of damage, but not enough to take me out. Uh, I am invested quite a bit. Ooh, but if he's max speed, I don't outspeed, actually. That's a dagger. Uh, I will admit that's a dagger, but what we can do is... This, is, this was Serena's job anyway, for the most part. I'm going to Seed Bomb here. This was Serena's job. We're gonna see the withdraw actually straight up. Okay. Uh, so we have Stealth Rock and Stone Edge on you. We're gonna see the Quillfish come out. Stealth Rock and Stone Edge. Now this thing is gonna want to uh, set up hazards as well. So kind of a dagger. I can U-turn for free here, definitely. I don't think I have to worry about that at all. Uh, and I have no idea what Quillfish wants to do. Not gonna lie, Quillfish is a mysterious mon for me. Even as the coach of New York Mankeys, no idea. I just know that it likes spikes. I know that it gets taunt. Um, now the good news is the only immunity that Joey has to my ground type moves is going to be the, is gonna be the Latias, right? So here I have two options. I could go out into I don't want to, I could go into Hubert here, actually. But I don't have anything super effective. I could go out into my Rotom, which is like not awful. Mm, but I think because you most likely, if you have any physical, if you have any attacks, it's gonna be physical. I don't think you get, you do get Blizzard. You do get Ice Beam. That's a dagger that you get Ice Beam. Okay, I think for me then, I am, I mean, I think I'll Oko you with Scorching Sands if I go for that. That's kind of my best bet here. But Ice Beam would have been the play as well. You know what, I'm actually gonna go into the Casper as a little bit of a middle ground here. See if he sets up any spikes. We are gonna see spikes get set up. So that's kind of a dagger for sure. Uh, I could have just like triple axel and stayed it and, and, and done it again. Quillfish is pretty slow it looks like based on that. Uh, Quillfish is 85 speed. Serena is 72 and I have investment, but probably not enough. I'm actually just gonna fire off. He has the Cinderace, which could be immune to Willow. Um, let me see, do I just Volt Switch here? Get some damage off and put you inside of range. I could do that. Cause Sylvain is immune anyway. You know what, let's Volt Switch. He goes for Bar Barrage. Uh, that's some damage and he gets the poison frame one. I don't know if that's guaranteed, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Bar Barrage has a 50% chance to poison. Okay, that's pretty high. I didn't get to see how much damage I just did, which is really, really bad because <laughs> I was looking at Smogon. Um, but I think with Spikes Up, the best thing for me to do probably is to just go out either into uh, Dedu or to go on into Sylvain. I think I'm gonna go on into Sylvain here because even if we see the Latios come in, I can pivot with Rotom, right? We don't take any Spikes damage. Uh, we can obviously take this thing out. Now, I kind of want to check. I don't think U-turn, U-turn might do enough, actually. I'm going to do a little bit of calking here against a regular, just standard Quillfish. I don't know what it's actually good for, but uh, U-turn does not take it out. Scorching Sands obviously does. Smackdown does not. So I either have to commit to the Scorching Sands and take him out, which I think is fine. Latias will be faster than me. 
and could double dance. Uh, but, but you know what, I think it's fine. I'm gonna Scorching Sands here. We're gonna Scorching Sands and take this thing out. So, what? we did not get 6-0'd! That was our whole goal, baby! Our whole goal was not to get 6-0'd. Although we are in a pretty rough spot with one layer of spikes breaking the sash on my Zorork when it comes in. All right, Bandito, Bandito the Swampert. This is a scary thing. Uh, is there a world where Swampert is choice scarfed and outspeeds me? There's like a slight baby world where that happens, right? Let's see, if you're choice scarf, you do outspeed me pretty easily. Uh, I'm just like getting that vibe completely. I, I no idea, honestly, no idea. But I'm just getting the vibe that you're gonna be choice scarfed. And uh, this thing is super, super important. So I think what I'll do is I'll go out into Casper here. I'm just gonna go out into Rotom. Because uh, I, I feel like I'm a pretty good wall-ish for this thing. I am Poison, which is a dagger. We're gonna see Flip Turn actually. Ooh, good Flip Turn, very good Flip Turn. Uh, Swapper Flip Turn is problematic for me because I don't have hazards. I do not have hazards up. I could have eaten that Flip Turn. I definitely could have, should have eaten that Flip Turn. Um. But I, my brain just, I got into a headspace. Oh, this is Choice Scarf Swamper for sure. But how do we know it's not? Uh, well, I'm gonna assume that it's not. We should be okay to next time go for a stronger move with Lando. I believe my Lando is literally running Grass Knot. So uh, I I might have O-Code there with Grass Knot. But I, it's, if he's not Choice Scarf, I really think he's Rindo. We're gonna see Twindra come out. This is gonna be the Lottie. That's pretty dangerous. I am just gonna go, I, I can go for a Volt Switch here. It's like the only thing I can do. Uh, I think that there is a real danger in this thing potentially setting up. Uh, it is the number one threat to my team on his team. So I'm just gonna Volt Switch, take a hit and get out. Or, you know, if he takes me out, he takes me out. But this is this is definitely like the position that he wants to be in. Uh, we're gonna see Draco Meteor out the gate. I'm pretty sure that'll take me out. Yep, okay, but that's okay. Special attack harshly falls. So this puts me in a spot where I can uh, maybe take advantage of that. I can't go onto the Hubert at all until Serena is done. With the special attack drop, I think I can actually get rid of the spikes and save my Hubert's Focus Ash. Uh, the only dagger is that uh, my my Focus Ash. I'm gonna save my Focus Ash, but at what cost? I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm here anyway, right? I'm here anyway. I rapid spin. I'm a salt vest, so that's the whole reason why I think at minus two I'll live another one. And if I don't, it is what it is. If I don't, it is what it is. At that point, I might just go into Sneasel and see what we can make happen. <laughs> I might just have to try it. Really wish I would have grass knotted and just burned that Rindo. We're gonna see Draco does connect, but I'm a salt vest. Ah, I don't take it. I really thought maybe I could. I really thought Flame could take it at minus two with the assault vest. It is what it is. Um, at that point, I think that going into Sylvain is pretty free. Uh, it is a free U-turn. I'm really not in a good spot though, but it is it is what it is. I won't get hit by spikes thanks to my air balloon, which is cool. You know what we're gonna check? How much does Sneasler take from a minus four? Let's see. Uh, if we go Latias, minus four Psychic, what's that doing to me? A minus four Psychic does a lot of damage, but it does not take me out, and that would pop my air balloon and put me in a really sweet spot. But bullet, I have to fear Bullet Punch anyway, so I, I don't think I can actually do that. Ah, oh, this could be the op though, especially if he's choiced. But if he's choiced, he's always gonna be choiced, right? That's true, let's go on to Lando. If he's choice Scarfed, he's always gonna be choiced. That Serena loss is such a dagger. It is such a dagger. Uh, this is a free U-turn here, obviously. That's just, it's the only move we can go for. We might see Swampert actually come back out. If Swampert does come back out, I'll be a little, I won't be too sad. Bandito, that is the Swampert, yeah? That is the Swampert. We'll get some chippies off with the U-turn. And uh, I'm just gonna full reveal. Let me see, do I full reveal? This, I think so, based on my attacks that, if Landers had a chance to Oko, I wanna say that, uh, I mean, it's really my only option. I could go out into Air Balloon Sneasler here, actually. Uh, a plus two Dire Claw and Swampert, I don't think is taking you out. 
Let's see, plus two, yeah, it does 40%. Ah, you're just not low enough. Okay, let's go on to the Hubert. We're breaking our sash, which is a huge problem. Uh, this is just straight up Hubert. He's gonna see it, it is what it is. Uh, we will go Grass Knot. This is, uh, this is worst case with this illusion, Mon. Uh, but we will Grass Knot here. If he swaps, he swaps. I don't think, I think that Joey did just bring uh, Choice Scarf Lottie, now that I'm thinking more about it. Because being able to just outspeed Sneezer with a Psychic type move is perfect. Okay, he's gonna withdraw on the Grass Knot. Uh, it was obvious it is what it is. Uh, your Seer, is this Scizor? No, this is the Bunny. The Bunny who is faster than me, and I did lose my Rotom already, so I can't do much about this. Um, this has just got to be. This is just got to be either Landorus or it's got to be Dedu. I think I'm gonna go on into Dedu and hope this thing actually clicks a U-turn. I think that's what I'm gonna do. We'll go on into Dedu and see if we can get a U-turn off. It stinks that there's a, a fainted Mon in my last slot. I think that's how it works, basically. So I'll never be able to transform to anything else. We'll see. We're gonna see Willowis. -Will that's not. Is that bad? I'm pretty sure that that makes my. Um... Wow, give me the Willow. That was crazy. Oh, that was a really good play. I guess he's expecting Lando. All right, so based on his team, who's left, I, oh, whoa, please don't disconnect. Uh, based on his team, he's got Swampert, Lycanroc is still, oh no, Lycanroc's not around. Is Lycanroc around? No, yeah, Lycanroc is around. He's got five Pokemon. Um, I think pretty obviously the Scizor does come in here. I don't think I can switch though. Actually, why would Scizor come in with superpower? I guess so. Um, his libero didn't activate yet because he used the fire type move, so I'm pretty sure he could still change typing. Uh, I might have to make a play here and go like out into this to have any sort of chance. What does Cinderace learn? How much time do I have left? I have 20 seconds. Cinderace learn. Cinderace learns uh, sucker punch is amazing, and it learns a lot of fighting type moves. Uh, coaching counter. Coaching is not a real move. Don't look at that. Reversal. Low kick. Low sweep. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go for broke. Ah, it's gonna be U-turn, isn't it? I'm just gonna Dark Pulse. I'm just gonna Dark Pulse. It is! I was so close to going out into Zerark, man! I was right there, dude. I was right there. Uh, if I would've scrolled more, if I didn't skip high jump kick. All right, it is what it is. Uh, that could potentially just be GG. I think that the only thing I can do is go out into Yeah, I, I don't think there's anything to do there. I was so close to, I was, oh dude, I was hovering on it. I was hovering on it, man. I'm sorry, guys, what a choke. What an absolute choke. That would have been so good. That would have been so good. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty much the game then. I'm gonna go out into, uh, just go out to Landorus. Go on to Lando, he's fighting type right now. Uh, he can go for a Will-O-Wisp, it is what it is. Uh, I'm personally just gonna U-turn. He's faster than me. He can't miss Willow though. <sighs> Shoot, he can't miss Willow. This thing is actually a really good counter to my team. Um, I think we still have to go for it. Luckily I'm mixed so it doesn't matter, right? So he might not even bother Willowing. He might just go on to Lottie here. I'm gonna U-turn. Ah, oh, he does Pyroball, okay. Well, I intimidated you. I'm gonna get a little bit of Chippy off. Uh, and then I think with the Intimidate, it's about the only thing I can do is go out into Sneasler. Uh, I'm faster. I'm pretty sure Sneasler Oko's, right? Dire Claw does not Oko from this range. Uh, so I think my actual win con is getting Sleep. I think it's my actual win con. Do I think that Scizor just comes in though? He saw my air balloon, he doesn't want to pop it. Um, he's pro Like I said, he's probably choice scarfed. Lottie. And he's not gonna hard switch into that. I think I just SD. I think I just SD here. I, I don't know what else to do at this point. Uh, do you get a second time move? will o okay, you do burn me. That is awful, for sure. Um, but I think that this is still my only win con here. Uh, I think I SD again, and even though I'm on a timer, it just is what it is. Now, Bullet Punch is always gonna be a problem, right? So you are, you know what, I have to Dire Claw. 
I have to Dire Claw now because you should stay in. No, 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 no. You did not. Bandito. Okay. So we get it. We get a, a basically neutral chance to put you to sleep. Okay, I crits and I para. Okay, that could be my only win con here. My air balloon is still up, so he can't EQ me. Um, but he's just gotta get me in range, right? So uh, what I need to happen is I need a full para for a chance to win. I SD here and I hope for a full para. It's my only win con. Joey always says play to your win con. That's what we're gonna do. Any full para? No, earth power. Okay, but <gasps> he missed the air balloon! He missed that I had it. Oh, man. I Dire Claw. It does nothing. Full para. Nope. He's up. What is happening? Uh oh, is this just like, oh, you know what he's probably doing? He's smart. He, do he wants to be able to get into his Lottie. He wants to get into his Lottie for free. I feel that. That's really smart. All right. Oh, that's really smart. I'm gonna U-turn. I'm gonna U-turn. That's really smart. Really, really smart. All right, the only thing I can really try to do is lock the Lottie into something else. So, uh, let's go ahead and let's just go on into Zorark. Let's just go on into Zorark here. Because I can see exactly that's what he wants to do. He does not want to pop my air balloon. He didn't miss the air balloon. He saw the air balloon. He saw right through it. Uh, we're gonna see the Scizor come out here. That's fine for me. I think he's gonna, I think he's obviously gonna bullet punch just for damage, right? He's in the winning position. I'm gonna flamethrower regardless. Uh, we'll see bullet punch. Is it banded? It is absolutely banded, without a doubt. Without a doubt, it is banded. Okay, so uh, banded Scizor probably just cleans up anyway. Yeah, absolutely. I could have like swapped out into this, I guess, but I, so I, that that the scarfed Lottie is just gonna be way too strong for this team. Um, does he bother switching out? Not really, there's no reason. He's just gonna get damage off as much as he can, I would think. I think he gets as much damage, oh, he does withdraw. Oh. That's not, no way is that Lottie. Okay, it's Ursier, okay. So we'll take out the Ursier, he doesn't need it anymore, so he lets it go down. Uh, makes perfect sense. I'll get a little bit of recovery here. Right? Or do I not have, le I, I was gonna say, where's my lefties, bro? Uh, we get a little bit of recovery here. I think it's like the first time my lefty lefties have procced, by the way. I'm pretty sure. Uh, then we're gonna see, I'm sure Latios come out. I know your choice scarfed. Oh no, actually, Lycanroc, interesting. Uh, Lycanroc is, wow, your team is so fast, dude. It's actually crazy. Um, Trying to think, do I have a win con here? I think my win con is going out into Shamir, forcing the air balloon to pop and getting super lucky with Dire Claw. Like I needed to go for like Excel Rock for chippies and pop my balloon. Like the only chance I have. And then I need crits out the wazoo. We're gonna see Endeavor here actually. Okay, okay, I like that. It does pop my balloon and I am fast, baby. Okay, here's how we win. You ready? We have a, we have a line of play. We Dire Claw. We get the status, we get the sleep, and we get the SD. Watch, 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 watch. Nope, okay. He lands the Stone Edge, and it's enough, obviously, to take me out. Uh, and then now he's even weaker, so Endeavor is an even better move for my opponent. Oh, man, what a dagger. Uh, I didn't have the room to run fighting this week uh, on, on Necroft, honestly. I mean, for Necroft. I honestly didn't see the Necroft coming, so it's kind of cool to see it. Uh, now Necroft will just go for Endeavor. Bring me on down nice and low. Latias can come out. Choice Scar finish me off. <sighs> Week one, uh, yeah, I'm pretty bummed. Not gonna, <laughs> not gonna lie, I feel like I could have played a lot better, but it's my first singles battle in so long. And um, man, I wish I would have full committed to him not bringing Squawkabilly. Part of me really believed he would bring Squawkabilly for the meme since he was forced to draft it, but it makes perfect sense not to. And Scar Flotty is just terrifying. Scarf Lottie is absolutely terrifying. Um, and that's it, I'm gonna click U-turn because it doesn't matter. And I should go down to a Mist Ball here. Mist Ball got buffed too. GG Joey, GG week one. New York Mankeys unfortunately take the L. We'll see what we can do next week. Keep it shady.